How's it going everybody? Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. Uh, welcome to my channel guys. So I'm doing your daily tarot card reading and this is going to be for Friday, January 1st, 2021. So this is going to be for New Year's Day. So <clears throat> if you're anything like me, um, my mind connects so many things to music. So uh, there's a song by U2 called New Year's Day that is absolutely stunning and I love you too and I got to see them live actually and it was just incredible so you guys might want to check out that song New Year's Day or maybe just throw something else on and dance it out but meanwhile <clears throat> I'm shuffling out here the Gilded Tarot deck for you guys and I hope everybody had a chance to do some of that um global meditation because it's going to affect everything right that was on 12 21 um but anyway you guys i'm gonna start i i get that italian accent i'm not the slightest bit italian i get i think it's just the way i stutter sometimes but anyway i'm gonna use the tgif spread and the first three cards i'm gonna pull are gonna look at what you have accomplished for the past week um all right I'm gonna do a deck cut and I've been guided to take the first three cards from the cut. So let's have a look there. All right, everybody got your tea and ready to rock this reading out. Um, what have you accomplished? So that's nice. I've got a couple cards here in reverse, but it doesn't matter. Um, you guys, if you've been watching me for a while, you know that I get all my messages from my team and spirit. So as soon as pajama week as soon as I start pulling cards I start getting messages so I got the queen of cups for you guys the strength card and the lovers card so three very important and highly charged cards okay so let's look at the lovers card here um this could be you know maybe you finally met the love of your life or you finally realize that you're the love of your life and you put yourself higher than anybody else right uh, there's a divine connection here you could have just like i said before met somebody that is going to be absolutely super important for you um and then the strength card you know discovering your strength and this could lead you to that you know sometimes there's things within you and i've got the queen of cups here also <clears throat> that need to be fine-tuned and resolved and tweaked and all of that stuff in order for you to be able to be on the same level as the person that you're meant to be with or just open yourself up to a new level of ascension especially if you're trying to leave the 3d matrix behind that's driving me a little bit crazy so um <clears throat> looks like a lot of self-realization could possibly have met that person or introduced yourself to your new you as you ascend three four five and beyond d queen of cups i love her powerful energy of feeling absolutely connected but not being affected by external sources um and this is a sense of mastery. I don't know how many people have that, that your mood is solely based on how you feel on the inside. And you would not be affected by somebody's judgment, harsh words, any sort of scenario. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Um, like that's almost like Buddhist monk level Zen to me i'm gonna clear my throat hold on for a second anyway i was saying that's like a whole different <clears throat> like yoda level of you know calm and assessment and not letting anybody else disturb the waters that are running so deeply within you but something that's definitely achievable you know and once you start to get there and sort of contain everything into your own vessel i don't know where these words are coming from you'll start to meet different people and you'll start to meet somebody or fall back in love with somebody that is really really next level you know 
um, if you're looking for that awakened partner or somebody that has the same values as you, um, you know, it's very, very incredibly possible here. So, <clears throat> you know what? I have my humidifier going here right beside me, but it's so hard to, like my skin is super dry. I have to have forced air on all the time and then electric heaters on. This is so cold here. All right, I'm just gonna envision my beach house and you guys do me a huge favor and envision my beach house for me to get me there faster. So let's see positive energies to focus on to be successful and wow. So here's that gingerbread house and I'm sure there's a beach on the other side of it. So very important to always keep your best intentions in your heart, in your head. Look at this positive energy to focus on is the Ten of Cups. This is the highest level of happiness attained. There's the, the family. I'm not sure if that's a dog or a cat. It's impossible for me to tell. There's that, you know, gingerbread house there that's just absolutely perfect. There's all of the cups forming a rainbow here. This is a really great reading for your first day of the year, of the new year, because it's all so powerfully and highly charged with love you know and that's something that i'm very very um focused on for myself you know and sharing love and being love and it looks like it's all coming in here for you guys and you know this could be a little bit of what is happening because of that you know global meditation that happened um you know, opening up new doors for everybody. So this is very beautiful that you're feeling this on the first day of the new year, you know, to be able to come into this energy, um, probably appreciating yourself a whole lot more, you know, just really, all right, so let's see how to have the best possible weekend. Wow, are you kidding? So we've got the Ace of Swords here. So everything is just... Uh, should I say this out loud? Like, it just feels like everything is perfect. It looks like you're just going to have one of those days where it's like you can do no wrong. And, you know, you meet all the right people. You're getting, um, you know, if you're online dating, you'll get somebody that's actually real. That's not a catfish, you know. And they look like their profile picture. You know, you could get a really good offer today. You know, it's just... The victory card with the Ace of Swords, the Ten of Cups, which is just, you know, beautiful, like oozing happiness. You know, the love of your life here, whether it's you or, you know, your perfect partner. Walking in strength. Being as cool, calm, and collected as the Queen of Cups here. Like, you ever have one of those days where it's like everything was magical from start to finish? And, you know... It, it can continue to be like that, you guys. It really can. You know, you just have to put your minds to it. I'm going to pull another card here for you. This is like the fairy tale, which is, I love. So when things get a little bit tough for you guys, you know, because this is all pretty fairy tale, right? These cards here that I pulled for you. Um, just take a knee, take a breather. Look at how you can collect yourself and keep that like maintain all of this energy look how much this outweighs this right so you've got the nine of wands you probably struggled in your life and there's probably going to be a few more but everything is all in the way that you accept it you don't have to let outside energy stir you up you know, it doesn't have to come in and ruffle up your feathers. You know, you do have the Queen of Cups here. And she's quite, you know, nothing gets past that exterior. And how you manage that is just going to be everything for you. So take time to breathe when you need to. But also, like, really, really, really be prepared for 
the life of your dreams here. Like this is really cool. I don't think I've ever seen so many positive cards in one reading. And I just saw angel numbers 1001. So you guys, I hope you do have this blessed and perfect day. And angel number 1010, you guys, there's something, there's something afoot. So take advantage of the blessings. See you guys. <laughs> Bye.